Hello, welcome to the finale of Death Door. And I'm talking the finale finale. I'm just not messing around, you know, like, oh, you know, it's the finale, maybe. No, this is the finale finale. We are getting this game done today. Uh, I don't care how long this episode has to be. I'm getting it done. Uh, and so, last time, uh, I think we rang the, the bell on the bell tower, and it's nighttime. It's spooky. Uh, but now... Uh, we're trying to collect these tablets of knowledge, and if we collect seven of them, something special might happen. So, um, human tip for today. Seeing as it's now, I think it's officially winter now, I never know when the seasons are, like the first day of autumn, first day of winter, blah blah blah. I don't really pay attention to that, but I think it's the first, or not the first, I think it's officially winter now. So in, uh, there's also, you know, it's holiday season. Uh, there's a lot of snow for a lot of people, unless you live, like, in California or something. So, in accordance to that, your human tip for today is to stay warm. Uh, for me, I don't necessarily get cold, like, ever. I think I'm immune to it. But for those of you who have to suffer with being cold, uh, stay warm. Hello again, Reaper. For some reason, I stirred from my usual resting place tonight. I could feel something calling out to me. Oh? You found my old locket. I haven't seen that since... Since the day I buried my only friend. The day the ground shook and the sky turned black. I feel... So strange. crying like souls is that I don't know it's kind of weird the grave digger yes unfortunately we have to fight stead home and it has been a while since I fought stead home and it's gonna be kind of I mean it's not too hard he's actually a fairly easy boss all right well karma comes to kill as soon as I say that um, He's not too difficult, but, like, you can't just mindlessly do anything. You have to pay attention. So, um, but, yeah, it's, it's kind of sad just seeing our friend this whole time. Uh, see him go. Because, of course, we're going to win this. We're not going to die. You know. You or me kind of deal. I'm not doing good. I really need to focus. Yeah, I'm really not doing it. He's not gonna kill me, is he? That'd be awfully embarrassing. Take that! What is this? Okay, well... What is happening? Okay, apparently there's zombies now. Well, they're one hit though, so they don't seem that difficult. Okay, avoid this. Since I've only fought Steadhome a couple of times, I've never really gotten to learn his attacks, because I usually beat him first try. Alright, so I guess that's his summoning thing. Take these out. Dodge out of the way. I need to switch to bombs. The way. Pretty simple. I think he's almost gone. That did not work. Yeah, he's pretty close. Look at all the cracks forming. I'm sorry, Stead Hone, I have to do this. That's a mistake. There we go. Dodge out of the way. He's so close. Okay, so am I. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Thank you, Reaper. My time in this world is over. Pay your last respects. Tablet of knowledge. It's, it's sad to see him go. 
for sure. But he did want to die, though, I'm fairly certain, in a kind of depressing way. Because, you know, people have always talked about, you know, oh, what if you could live forever? But that would actually be terrible. You would see everyone you know and love die. And you would have to watch all the suffering and probably the Earth only get worse. But, uh, on that note, we have another Tablet of Knowledge. And I think that's everything we have left to do in this area. Let me check. Yeah, so it's not glowing pink anymore, so that means uh, there's nothing left to do. And the only other door that's glowing pink is this one. So there's stuff here we have yet to do. And I think I know what that is. Ah. The first crow tip. The sign that started it all. And why I decided that I was going to do a stupid bit. Oh, great. We have giant slimes. Uh, when I decided I was going to do a stupid bit. And it would just haunt me for the rest of my days. Because, um... I'm not good at coming up with them. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that the human tips, they they got pretty bad pretty fast. But yeah, it's mostly because of my lack of creativity. But uh, it's over now because this is the last video in the series. No more human tips. I'm not doing this again for the next series. I am not doing another one of those. I mean, I theoretically could, but I don't think I want to torture myself like that. Here we go. We have three seeds left. Pothead's here. Hello, Pothead. If I'm right, there's only a single solitary pot left without a seed planted in it. Is that all you have to say? Yep. It is. Try looking around these gardens some more. So, there's one single uh, pot that we have yet to plant a seed in. And when we do, we can open this door. It's always that one. Though I don't think the lights coordinate to pots. Unless they do, but it's always that um, pot that I see, or that light that's not filled. And it has to be in these gardens somewhere. Because none of the other doors are glowing. Oh, there's also this we didn't ever got. There we go. Some more souls. But yeah, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Because if it was somewhere else, the uh, door would be glowing. Signifying that there's another pot somewhere that needs to be filled. I, however do not know where it would be. There's quite a few pots in this area, so we'd have to retrace our steps. Oh, hey! The owl's here. I didn't even mean to do that. Alright, then. The final shard. Three shards fused together and you feel its eye gazing into your soul. I have a feeling that's not really a good thing. I can't imagine it's... Oh, wow, hello. I can't imagine it's too pleasant to have something gaze into your soul. Oh, and you're dead. Alright. Wow, 16 souls. It's a decent number. I've done all of this, I think. Go, ow. I've lit these fires before, but just in case I'll do it again. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I wonder where it is. It has to be in these gardens somewhere. Because none of the other doors lit up. I mean, it is possible I just missed one. Oh, perhaps... No, I got that one. 
There's not one in here, I don't think. Unless it's over this way. That one's already uh, got a seat in it. I mean, I suppose it could be this way. There it is. Right there. The one that I never put a seat in. There we go. And that should be all seeds. No animation of the door opening, though. Which is a little unusual. Because I feel like it did for all the other doors, but I guess not this one. Goodbye, crow tips. Goodbye, human tips. No longer. I think the, the golden... Not golden. The trowel, actually... I've never seen it happen, but it's supposed to light up when there's a seed nearby. But I got all the seeds, so there's kind of no point. Because it doesn't glow if there's no seeds to actually collect. Okay, so now we get the animation. Or cutscene, I guess. Here we go. Anything to say? Heavens to... M Murgatroyd. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'll look it up later. You've managed to grow flowers in every single one of the pots I left out. Well done, Beakface. You've got greener thumbs than me. Are those thumbs? Either way, magnificent stuff. I can feel the spirit of nature is grateful for your kindness. We reap what we sow. It's so nice to see so many new flowers around the island. They look even more beautiful in the moonlight, don't you think? I actually do agree. The fact that they glow is pretty cool. They got, like, all these, uh, little things around them. Alright, well, this should be the final tablet of knowledge that we need. Which tablet of knowledge? It's I gazing into your soul. Ooh, spooky. I believe with that, that is the last tablet we need. So, the only thing left to do is to go back to the camp of the free crows and to go and see what our uh efforts have gotten us need to go to the nearest door though which is a little bit far away and that's annoying but that's all right it has been quite an adventure when you think back about it 18 episodes is quite a lot and, uh, the next series, I don't think I want to just do one long series. I think I want to break it up with, like, a couple videos in between, right? Like, uh, kind of doing multiple series at the same time. And I know that can be detriment uh, detrimental, because you might not finish a series, or one might get left behind, but it all depends on what you guys want to see. But I also don't want people to get bored with it, because I know perhaps this series may have been a little boring to some, and I'm the... Results show that there are people who did not get bored with it. However, um, I, uh, I kind of want to move on to something else, and I just, I don't know. It, it gets a little boring for me, too, just to play the same thing over and over again. So, I might want to mix it up sometime. But, uh, there was, I guess, a secret cave behind here. So, uh... Big eyeball. Don't look at me. Atop a great tower, many centuries ago. Alright, I can't skip it. Awesome. A door existed before the one you have known. The first door was opened by a human seeking the power of gods. Their actions would come at the cost of their soul.
the human fused with the being known as truth. They gained the knowledge of all things across all time. They escaped and returned to the living world, but their soul was lost, lost to the even. The first door was shattered and broken. With its destruction, the Great Tower collapsed into the mountains. Truth emerged into the living world, tethered to the ruins that once housed the door. An opportunity was seized by the Lord of Doors, who retrieved the essence of the first door. They would reconstruct the door in a new location and trap death beyond it. This would result in the world stagnating for many centuries. God, I feel like I'm watching a documentary. Uh, a reaper was assigned the soul of the mortal who opened the first door. I don't... An impossible task as his soul was already lost to the either. I don't like the crow hand. Without this knowledge, the reaper would be lost, searching for many centuries. So I guess it's the Grey Crow. Truth would whisper to the Free Crows, offering them knowledge and guiding them towards breaking the world free of the stagnation. That's a lot more than seven tablets. It would convince them to tamper with the operations of the Commission to assign a giant soul to the Foretold Crow. This would set the Foretold Crow off onto their journey. The foretold crow would gather the seven tablets of truth. They would enter and behold the sight of the first door. And carry the power of truth out of its prison. Huh. That doesn't look too good. Well, we can fly now. That's cool. At least I assume that's us. I'm pretty sure it would be. Because all the crows are, uh, like, small. But the ones that came out of the chests that gave us the, uh, the different things were big. So anyway, that is Death's Door. I really enjoyed it. I, like I said, I really like this game. Uh, I do enjoy it. So, um, any criticisms I gave, like, uh... Like, not that they're not real criticisms, but kind of... They, they don't subtract anything. It doesn't subtract that much from the game for me. Uh, I really uh, enjoy it. Like I said, not all the jokes landed for me. Um, but... And, you know, there's some uh, frustrations to be had. Like any game, it's got its, you know, quirks and all that. But uh, I, I really do enjoy it. I think it's got a fantastic artwork... A great soundtrack. That's probably, like, one of my favorite things about the game is the soundtrack, which I bought it. Uh, it you can get it on Spotify just for, like, for free. But I just really wanted to support the developers because, like I said, two-man team from the UK. Pretty small and pretty incredible. They were able to pull something this big off because uh, their previous game, Titan Souls, uh, was a bit short, I think, at least compared to this. So I just decided I wanted to go and support them because I really like the soundtrack. I think once you buy the soundtrack on Steam, you get a concept art book along with it as well, which I desperately wanted. So that was really nice, and I've looked through it, you know, dozens of times. Uh, just really cool all around. Uh, there was clearly a lot of work put in this game, and they, they really enjoyed it, you can tell. I'm really excited to see what Acid Nerve does next, because I really enjoyed this game, and I'm excited to see what projects they come out with in the future. Speaking on the true ending, uh, to a lot of you it's probably really confusing as it was to me when I first uh, got it. But you you have to play or understand the lore of their first game, Titan Souls, which they made, I don't know how many years ago it was. It was a while ago. But that is the first game, and Death's Door is almost like a sequel to this, uh, to Titan Souls. 
So the the lore ties in to both games and they're connected. So that's why it really doesn't make a lot of sense if you just play this one by itself. Being like, why is there a person here? What is this with the whole truth, right? And I had to look up the lore because I really didn't know because I haven't played Titan Souls. Perhaps I'll play it uh, on this channel somewhere down the line. And if you want to see that, you know, let me know. But uh, that's why the true ending seems very off-putting, just on its own. Cool game. Uh, go, I would recommend you go and buy it for yourself. I mean, not everyone has the money to, but, you know, if you see it on sale, I'd recommend you pick it up. It's a much different experience playing it versus watching someone play it. And plus, if you pick this game up, uh, you can still do the Umbrella run, where you beat the game using only the Umbrella and no other weapon. So that could be a fun challenge if you're up for it. I assume if you've made it to this point in the video that you've probably seen most of them, uh, most of my videos, so you know what's coming. So it would already be spoiled for you, but I still would recommend picking it up. It's it's a great game. I do uh, really enjoy it. it. Came out 2021, pretty recent still, um, and it got a decent amount of traction too. But uh, like I said, I kind of really want to promote it because it's one of my favorite games. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it too, and hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. I think it was just a great game to start off our journey on this platform, so. Thank you guys for watching this series, if you have. Um, I think it was, it was fun, but I'm ready to move on to something else now. And just so you know, I will not be uploading a video this Sunday, because it'll be Christmas, so I'll be taking a break. Um, I know a lot of people probably don't want to watch a video on Christmas Day. The schedule will go back to normal on Friday of next week and hopefully we'll be starting our don't starve together series and right now i'm working on how am i actually going to film it because i'm hoping on bringing along someone new so i can play that with but uh, in the event that that doesn't work out i will still play it solo so look forward to that so anyway thank you uh thank you for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day i will not see you sunday i'll see you next friday though i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye